GSMI presents Reformation and Revival Now. My name is Kevin Jones and I have a prayer assignment today, not just on uh, Reformation and Revival Now, but this will also be on LPN. We're going to take the high place that Simon stood and we're going to look at everything from the kingdom of God as we pray for these different groups. And the high place is prayer and following Jesus. So I want to pray first and foremost for the body of Christ. And the reason why I want to do that is because we are divided. Now, we don't think so, but a lot of Christian groups, most Christian groups, I have to say it, are divided over many things. This is to our shame. But God has told us that we should pray for each other. Now, I don't have a strong political standing. I stay away from politics. It's not my area of emphasis. It's not my area of calling. But there are many Christians who are. So what I want to do is pray for my brothers and sisters who are called to labor in this area because they need God just like I do. And they need the supernatural intervention of God just like I do. So this is what I want to do. Will you join me now as we pray for Christians who are called to labor in politics? Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up the body of Christ. And I ask, Lord Jesus, that you would bless your people who are called to labor, Lord, with our governors, with political action, Lord God. I want to pray, Lord, that you will allow them to function under the power of the Spirit with the revelation of Jesus Christ leading them, with your angels going before them, which, with, with your leading them, Lord Jesus, how to move in the political arena in a supernatural way. None of us can do anything, Lord, unless it is given. That's what John the Baptist said. No man can do something unless it was given to him by God. And so I want to ask for my brothers and sisters called in this arena that you would give them the anointing to function in politics as you have anointed them and bless them, Lord God, and let the love of God overflow in their hearts. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now, I want to lift up the LGBT community because it is one of the communities that I have to admit is despised. But today, we are going to pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the LGBT community. And I pray, Lord God, that you would bless them and draw them, Lord God, to a knowledge of Jesus Christ. That is not, Lord Jesus, what really they're used to. They're used to, Lord Jesus, making God like they want him to be. But I pray, Lord God, that the LGBT, along with the Christian church, would see Jesus as he really is. And this is my prayer, Lord God, that the revelation and that the conviction of the Spirit will begin, Lord God, to come to our LGBT uh, family, Lord God. And we ask your blessings in the name of Jesus. We ask that you would begin to stir their hearts. We ask that you would begin to draw them. And I ask that the church, Lord God, will begin to reach out and draw those lines together. Now I want to pray for the Black Lives Matter movement. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray right now, Lord, that all of the things, Lord God, that are behind the scenes with the Black Lives Matter movement, I pray, Lord God, that you will begin to minister your word and that you will begin to bring forth truth in their inward parts, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that all of the violence and all of the negative things that, Lord Jesus, have been associated with Black Lives Matter, I pray, Lord God, that that would break apart so that, Lord Jesus, a clear voice of racial equality for all peoples, Lord, may come forth. But at the same time, Lord God, I want to ask, Lord God, that you would forgive the church for being so negative against Black Lives Matter, Lord God, and begin to pray for every individual in the group. Pray for its leaders, Lord God. In fact, Lord, I ask that you would bring visitation unto them. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Now, next, I want to deal with the white nationalist group, which is often forgotten, but we want to pray for the white nationalists, you know, in our country and around the world. Father, I pray right now, Lord Jesus, that the spirit of division, Lord God, which has come upon, Lord God, the white nationalists against the Black Lives Matter, against the LGBT, against the Christian, Lord God, organizations. I want to pray right now, Lord God, that you would begin to break the spirit of strife 
and the spirit of division, Lord God, which comes upon, Lord God, not only white nationalists, but all these different groups, Lord Jesus. Father, I ask that there would be a breakthrough with the love of Jesus. I ask that be a breakthrough, Lord God, that there would be deliverance, Lord, from a sectarian spirit because, Lord Jesus, dividing and conquering is what the devil is all about. So I ask, Lord, for a visitation of our white nationalist groups, Lord God, and many Christians are in this group. So I want to ask, Lord God, that you would deal with your people and what role are they supposed to play in Jesus Christ concerning, Lord God, the liberation that they seek. Now, Lord, you are our only hope. I certainly, Lord God, do not believe that we, Lord God, can make any rounds without your grace and mercy. So, Lord, have mercy upon us and allow us to pray for each other. I pray, Lord God, that that spirit of division would be broken. And I want to pray, Lord God, that you would cause people to come across the aisles and supernaturally begin to meet. I want to pray that hearts would be softened, Lord God, and not hardened. I want to pray, Lord God, that there would be forgiveness and restoration. I want to pray deliverance, Lord God, for not only, Lord God, we who claim you, Lord, as our Lord and Savior, but for those who don't, who are part of this group, these groups, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, pour out your spirit, Lord, and bring that which Satan says is impossible to pass. Well, God bless you. I hope to see you soon and uh, continue to pass this word on and to pray for our different groups. In the name of Jesus, I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.